Hey guys, welcome to this Smartsheet automated workflow tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll cover some Smartsheet workarounds or workflows and generating documents automatically. To follow along this tutorial, we'll be referring to a spreadsheet that we created in an earlier video called Generate Documents. So I highly recommend you go back, have a look at that, and then follow on from here. So you can find the link for that video down below. And the spreadsheet looks something like this. This worksheet's based on sales and has attachments that have been populated using the generate documentation. You can see that here, little PDFs. These are PDFs for clients. And today we're gonna to work out how to generate those automatically and send emails while we do that. So what I'm gonna do is create two new columns. The first one I'm going to call generate document. And this will be a checkbox selection in the drop down menu, which will allow you to check on or check off whether a document has been generated. Then, what you want to do is come up to automation, create workflow from template. Templates are a little complex, a little hard to work from. So, what I'm going to do is create from scratch. I'm going to call this workflow generate document, generate document. I'm going to call this workflow generate documentation automation. And then in brackets, I'm going to have the name of the column, which is generate document, followed by checked. So we know instantly what we've got there. This is just an easy way to uh, keep, uh, if somebody else is jumping on your smart sheets from your team, it's an easy naming convention to, to know where everybody's at and everybody's on the same page. Uh, we want to set a trigger when roles are added or changed. We don't want to change that. Let's go to when, and we want to generate document. Changes to checked. So once the generate document is checked, it will uh, have this automation working for us, creating a document. So next up, I want to create some conditions so we're not emailing people that aren't supposed to be emailed. What I'm going to choose to do is uh, pick up my project stage and to ask it not to send emails to those who are not relevant. So we check check project stage plus is not one of, and then I'm going to select not started and completed. Then we scroll down, we hit generate document, and here we select a mapping. This we created in the video before for generate automation email. Mapping for client perspectives. Let's select that. Then if you hit the refresh button. So let's go back to our smart sheets where we can now check the box for generate document, refresh the page. You must refresh the page to get your updated attachments. Now, if we have a look at our attachments, we've got a V3 there, automatically put together PDF and ready to go. V3 on number two as well. So that tells us it's working. So now we can move on to the next step of our automation process, where if we update information, let's say this goes from pre-production and production, and it goes from $100 to $200. Let's uncheck it, save it, and then we'll, then we'll check it again. And what we want to do is insert a new column to the right. Let's call this date attachment is added. This will just tell us when the latest version of the email or PDF has been created. What we want to do is put a little column description in here, just in case anybody else is jumping on your workflow, anyone else from your team, everybody knows what, uh, what the column's for. This automatically updates when a new attachment is added to the to the client's information is just going to put that in there makes it clear for everybody who's, who's using the sheet all right so now we want to go to automation and we want to create workflow from scratch again what we want to do here is what we want to do here is select when roles are added or changed when an attachment is and we can click added or changed run workflow when triggered and then with the conditions, just to be consistent, let's put what we put in last time. Uh, project stage is not one of 
uh, either in not started or completed. So you select the same conditions as you had for your previous automation. Always name your workflow. Let's use the same uh, convention here. So uh, clear cell automation, uh, the name of the the name of the heading and the name of what it does. From here, you want to scroll down and select clear cell value. Clear cell value in, and then we choose our heading, which is generate document. So this tells us uh, that the date will be prepared when we select that. Then you can see our saved workflows here. Do we want to create a new one from scratch? This one we're going to call, um, this one we're going to call add date, date of last attachment, and attachment added. So we know, again, for the teammates, what's happening in all times. We choose uh, when this is going to happen. We scroll down to uh, when an attachment is added or changed, and then when triggered. We scroll down and we want to record a date for this one. We select date column. And if we had made our column date, we want to choose date attachment is added. And we can go back to our spreadsheet and make sure everything is working correctly. And let's make a little change. Let's change this from pre-production to production. And let's generate document. Once we check that box, we save it. And there we have the refresh. It can take a little while, but we refreshed it. You can see that the, the generate document is now unchecked and the date of attachment added is there. You can also see that we're on a new version of this. So we've done exactly what we want to do. We've automated our PDF creation. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you're looking for more how-tos on, on smart sheets, please follow and subscribe below. Thank you again for your time. Have a good day.